Hey guys, how's it going? It is S2G and welcome back to another episode of the Everton Korean World Series and now we are finally in the transfer window and in the last episode I asked you guys suggestions for new centre backs and you guys left a lot of suggestions so let's have a look at it. Obviously you guys asked me to sign the generic players like Laporte, Zuma and all that but you guys also left Marquinhos. I mean that's a very very interesting signing. I've not seen too many uh, too many players, too many YouTubers exactly to sign players like Marquinhos. I mean I've barely seen them in any career mode series apart from a few PSG career modes and all that so Marquinhos could be an interesting signing but the best signing of all would be I'm Eric Laporte he'd probably be one of the best of the series because just look at his overall he's already 84 rated 22 years old we're gonna be offering 25 million and Phil Jagielka I doubt that will work but if it does well that would be an insane deal also as you can see right the chief executive says that we can offer like 11 million or 11.5 million and get the Zuma deal done. So we might just do that. I mean, but Zuma isn't that great in comparison to Laporte or even Marquinhos. So he, I'm not even sure if he's an upgrade to Phil Jagielka right now at this moment because uh, Kurt Zuma will be around 77 or 78 rated. Obviously, Jagielka is 79 rated. So I definitely want to sign a centre back who's more than 80. Hopefully, we'll be able to find a centre back who is more than 80. Apart from that, I'm going to be selling some of the youngsters who I probably won't be using in this series like Brendan Galloway and even Mason Holgate. Also, we have simmed this game against Southend in the FA Cup. We won it final thanks to goals from Chalanoglu, Gabriel. So great performances from the team. And also, as you can see, guys, PSG want 37.5 million for Marquinhos. That's roughly the same amount, uh, you know, Bilbao wanted for Laporte. So we're going to be offering 25 million and let's see what happens. Also, Hoffenheim just want 19.5 million for Fabian Shah. That's not too bad. And obviously, Manchester City want 21 million for uh, Mangala. I'm not going to be offering any money for those deals because first I want to, you know, try and sign Laporte. If that doesn't go through, then maybe Marquinhos, then Zuma, and then I'll look into these three players because obviously Zuma is better than these players, and obviously Laporte and Marquinhos both are better than these players. Also, right now, as you can see, we are in the first position in the Premier League, and I have a question for you guys. Do you guys actually think this season we can win the Premier League? I know it might be very difficult, but do you guys think? Or maybe it, it's just too much for us. I mean, it's too much for the squad. I mean, we are going to be signing a new centre-back, you know, quality one. So maybe that would help. But let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section below. Will we win the Premier League or not? Also, as you can see, we have the best away record in the Premier League. That is a really good achievement for the squad here. And as you can see right now, Barkley has the ball. Plays it down to Kovacic here. In the 18th minute, we have an attack here to probably get the lead. It's Zaha now. Puts it down to Barkley. Barkley plays it into Kovacic, who just, you know, places it into the back of the net. A really good goal from Matthew Kovacic from the outside of his left boot. Really good goal from him and assist for Ross Barkley. He's been really stepping up his game since we dropped him for that game against Liverpool, the Merseyside derby. Chalanoglu played that game, got an assist. So Barkley realised that he has to step up his performances if he wants the spot in the first team. Here Kovacic again, who's running the show right now. Plays it down to Zaha. Zaha back to Kovacic. Kovacic plays it into Lukaku. And that's a wonderful goal from Romero. Melo Lukaku to put Everton into a 2-0 lead against West Ham and we can't underestimate a team like West Ham they have quality plays here and now they have a chance yet Simonson plays it down to Payet here it's still Payet here it's still Payet finding space he finds Kuyate Kuyate here tries to go on the run takes a shot it falls back to him and that's a venomous swally from Chiku Kuyate to bring back West Ham in this game that means it's 2-1 now but we still have the lead here hopefully we'll be able to keep the lead it's Lukaku with the ball right now it's still Romelu Lukaku finds Memphis Depay a beautiful pass from from his outside of his left boot and then yeah Depay's finish was really awful he really needs to improve his finishing you guys have been telling that since the last few episodes that Depay's finishing is awful you got to train him and I am going to be putting him on training sessions to improve his finishing because we really need that yeah Antonio had a chance to give West Ham you know the equalizer but unfortunately for him he couldn't score fortunately for us Butler made the save then they had another chance here coming from Winston Reid I have no idea what he's doing that forward his volley was just awful and here they made a mistake and the ball just fell to us we just, you know, rocketed into Lukaku. Lukaku just laid it off to Memphis Depay, who took a shot. But their keeper, Adrian, made a very good save. And the score remained 2-1 to Everton. And we get the win. A really important win, in my opinion. I mean, we are in first place in the league. So, we need to win these kind of games. We did win that game. And also, as you can see now, it's time to move our focus and all to the transfer business. As you can see right here, Mark Ineos, the deal won't be going through because they want more money. So, I decided to offer 13 million. That's probably going to be my last offer. Let's see what happens. Also, Athletic Bilbao 
want just astronomical uh, amounts of money. I mean, I definitely can't afford that. So I'll just offer 30 million and no Jack Yelka. I'll just see what happens because I doubt they'll accept that. Also, we have the final scout report on Kurt Zuma. He is 78 rated and 22 years old. I'm really not sure if we really want to sign him because he's not that great. I mean, he is a very good player for the future and all that. But is he as good as Jack Yelka right now at this moment? I don't think so because I think Marquinhos would be the best signing for us. I know he's going to cost more, but I reckon he'll be a fantastic centre-back for us. We have an offer here for Phil Jagielka, 3.6 million. I'm going to accept it. Thank you, Jagielka, for your services. And he really played well for us. He scored a couple of crucial goals last season. And apart from that, he was a very complete defender for us. But now it's time for him to leave. Anyways, now it's time to face Hull City here at home. Obviously, it's going to be a difficult game against them. And they're a very good side here. But we are the league leaders right now. So we need to show how good a team we are. We need to win this game. And come on, we will win it. As you can see right now, Chalanoglu with the ball. Plays it into Gabriel. Gabriel into Grealish. Yeah, Grealish is on the run here. Jack Grealish here. Can he prove his potential here? Yeah. But Grealish's thought is saved by Foster. Grealish really hasn't been performing that well. I mean, uh, Depay has just been... I mean, I mean, there's no competition for the left wing. I mean, uh, like, Grealish isn't as good as Depay. We all know that. Anyways, Abel Hernandez does score. Yeah, Butland couldn't save that. Then they had another chance here. They're literally dominating us. Diomande with the ball. Plays it down to Abel Hernandez. Abel Hernandez back to Diomande. Diomande lays it off to Jake Livermore. Who does score that was actually a very good team goal from Hull City and now it's, we are 2 nil down here and it's probably going to be impossible to come back in this game but we're going to try so Flanagan puts it down to Hakan Chalanoglu Chalanoglu goes away from one and takes a shot and scores that means we are now straight back in this game after 68 minutes we can get the equalizer come on guys it's Mohamed Besic with the ball Besic plays it into Chalanoglu Chalanoglu into Gabriel who goes past one Gabriel takes the shot it takes a nasty deflection and after 71 minutes the score remains 2-1 to Hull City and we lose this game I'm really disappointed with the result I wouldn't be so disappointed if you would have lost to a team like you know Manchester United and all that but we lost against Hull City I'm really disappointed at that also as you can see Newcastle United have come with an offer of 5 million for Ramiro Funes Mori I really thought of accepting it then I decided to counter it with 7 million because we already have jealousy to a very good centre back and we are going to be signing Marquinhos here yeah? obviously PSG have accepted the transfer offer this could potentially be one of the best deals uh, in the series and you guys might be wondering why didn't I sign Zuma he's cheaper like uh, like I mean he's just like a third of what Marquinhos cost that's because well, there are many reasons guys I mean a lot of people have been signing Zuma and he's a very popular suggestion popular transfer I don't want to do the mainstream signings too many of them because you guys seem to get disappointed with that so that's the reason I'm not signing Zuma plus he's not above 80 I really want a center back who's above 80 rated I'm not even sure Marquinhos is but he should be by now I think he starts at 80 he should be something like 81 by now at least as you can see right here Marquinhos has joined the club and he's 82 rated that's just ridiculously insane so he's got 73 sprint speed 73 acceleration that's really good he's got some good defensive stats as well like obviously 85 stand tackle so he's gonna be an insane center back for us in the next episode, Marquinhos will be put to test against teams like Manchester United. We'll have this game against Wall Walsall FC and also this game against Manchester City. So we'll be playing two Premier League games. I'll be simming the FA Cup game. But that's it for this episode. If you guys want to leave some transfer sessions, don't hesitate to do so because we still have like 10 million. I mean, we'll get more money from the uh, Ramiro Funes Mori uh, departure. So don't forget to leave your transfer sessions. Also, let me know if we really have what it takes to win the Premier League in the comment section below. But that's it for this episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. And if you guys have, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe if you're new to this channel. And I will see you guys in one of my next videos.